All right, hey everyone, welcome to Porter TV. Uh, thanks so much for watching all of our episodes. We've kind of been in crazy mode for a little while. This is Mike. Mike is hey, one of our uh, guitar building master guys here. So we're actually here to talk a little bit about uh, the NAMM show guitars. So we've been teasing these guitars. If you've been following us on social media, we've been teasing these guitars for a little while. So we are here to kind of show you what they look like, to talk a little bit more about them. So I know everyone's looking forward to seeing them. So let's get right to a quick shot of all the guitars. All right, so that was just a quick look at the NAMM show guitars. Hopefully you're enjoying those. Uh, we, we have been, like we said in the intro, we've been in crazy mode for the last little while. So Mike, maybe we can talk a little bit about kind of that process from signing up from the NAMM show to like, you know, everything that has to go into making these seven guitars. We're actually not gonna be able to get a couple of guitars in the box, basically. We have right. to, the box has to leave tomorrow to, to be created down there. And so, um, like, why don't you talk about kind of that uh, that craziness that goes into each of the guitars? I mean, we'll talk about the setup and the the final stuff later, but kind of uh, maybe walk us through a little bit, like you know, get up, get the guitars off the the uh, CNC, and then what, right. you know, what happens from there? Well, at that point, once it's off the CNC, it's lots of uh, sanding and uh, uh, labor that goes into it. It's quite a workout, especially when we have this many guitars that we were basically starting from scratch just for this show um, or for the NAMM show. So yeah, uh, off the CNC, we're spending hours uh, sanding, prepping up the body for, uh, you know, finish work, uh, getting that neck all smoothed out and everything so it actually feels like a guitar neck. Um, <laughs> yes. That's important, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, important. Then um, finally, when we have everything ready for assembly, all the fret work done, um, paint done, everything like that. It's, uh, it's actually putting everything together and making sure that it's actually going to be what we want to show everybody when we take this all to NAMM. So um, lots of different stages in, in the build to get it to where we are right now. But uh, I think we've both been pretty impressed that yeah. we were Looks able like you're to... going off the camera oh, there. I'm gonna... Yeah, there you are. <laughs> zone back in here. This so. is like your first time, you know. Yeah, so I'm new to you might, kinda... like you can talk off camera if you want to, but right. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So um, it's been a, a crazy madhouse around here, getting yeah. everything uh, ready to rock, and to the point where we're ready to box these things. It's like Definitely. we're sending the kids away for a while <laughs> out into the real world. Definitely. So All it's right. Pretty awesome. We got the UPS guy coming in, so we'll, we'll say hi to him real quick. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Howdy. We won't put you on camera. So. Oh, you filming something? Yeah, it's all right. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, you're fine. Just the UPS guy. We're fine. He's <laughs> See ya. integral to the, more, the operation yes, here, Yes, more too. guitar parts. So we, we let this roll often, as you as you can imagine, but that's okay, because that's that's reality, waiting on parts, waiting on uh, supplies. So after that, we've been kind of like focusing in on, on fret work and stuff like that. I think that over the course of the last, no, I'm out of the camera. Mm -hmm. For uh, over the course of the last uh, probably year and a half or so since you've been on, we've really tried to step up our game in the fretwork area because um, you know, if you're going to play guitar, you really want it to feel good. You want it to uh, be memorable. You want the the action to be great. You want the fretwork to be good all the way up. So we've always talked about our fret tension leveling system where we level under string tension. But then I think this this batch really helped us kind of dial in a little bit more of like okay what what kind of standard do we want to set right. and, and how do we make them good? So lots of kind of experimenting with different sandpapers and fret erasers and all sorts of different uh, polishing methods. Absolutely. And I think we've really settled on some, some really good stuff. So as we're, as we're talking, we're going to be showing a little bit of the kind of B-roll of the frets and you, know, be, you can kind of see that detail that goes into each of the frets. Um, we're also going to be recording sound clips of each of the NAMM guitars. So as you watch our social media, I'm not sure if this will come out before the sound clips or vice versa. So hopefully, I don't, I don't know yet, because we're right. kind of 
all we're focused on is that box leaving on a truck right now, but we did want to make sure that we spent some time kind of talking about each of the guitars. And uh, so now let, maybe let's just go into a little quick detail on each of the seven NAM guitars. So, we'll just... so the first guitar we're looking at for NAM is uh, our Le Bois Classic Series. Um, this particular guitar features an African mahogany body, um, a Spanish cedar neck with Palfero fretboard on it makes a very kind of unique feeling guitar in the hands um, and uh, it just screams this particular set um, obviously it's loaded up with p90s uh, we have two different options here with our p90s we've uh, basically if i'm right we're sitting on the classic A90. or the a90 and then um, the regular, the regular classic yeah. so and it just makes a super versatile P90 guitar. Um, and I gotta say, the finish on it looks absolutely awesome. So what are we calling this one? It's uh, this finish here. That would be our TV yellow. TV yellow, um, of course, with kind of that dog, -eared, or dog, dog hair finish. And yeah, couldn't be happier with the way this one turned out. It's awesome. Yep. All right, next up we have a Krosis, and uh, this is used to be called the performance model this is just going to be a custom model basically the base price starts at a basic set of options and then goes up there for the croesus so this particular one is a honey amber finish on swamp ash i'll move this up here so you can take a look at that we have a quarter sawn maple neck laser logo on the headstock indian rosewood fretboard this particular one is loaded with a tortoise pick guard and we have our vintage custom strat set in there so you can check that out kind of a very cool classic looking guitar sounds awesome it weighs almost nothing because of the swamp ash uh, pretty lightweight guitar so if you're coming to the nam show this would definitely be one to check out sounds pretty awesome all right next up we have this beautiful uh flame maple top on swamp ash le bois um, featuring a palfero neck with an ebony fretboard really love the way this one came out um, this particular humbucker set is our um, classic overdrive set and i'll let you guys get just kind of a, a up close picture if you can kind of get it of that top in there um, obviously we really loved this piece of wood for the neck we hand picked it just for this build um, and it really just came out amazing so check this one out at the booth when you get a chance um, she's gonna be really great someone's probably going to take her home all right next up is one of our crazier nam guitars i have a feeling this one's going to be the most talked about guitar in the booth potentially so kind of waiting to do the full reveal if you've been following our social media you've seen some pictures and some teasers of little parts of this guitar so here it is don't know what we're going to call it as far as the name goes but check it out we've got the ricochet humbucker size pickups in there Crazy, crazy paint job. Edges dripping over. Completely artsy on the back. Complete with uh, paint brush marks, all of that. Very, very cool guitar. It's a basswood body. We've got uh, quarter sawn maple neck. You see really, really awesome quarter sawn grain on that neck. Indian rosewood fretboard as well. This guitar is, is also lightweight. It, it has kind of a cool poppy, quacky sound to it. Um, we have some, I don't know if the camera will be able to see these, but we've got some kind of matte black um, brush pickup rings on here as well. So this is definitely one of our more attention grabbing guitars, very artsy. All the little details kind of in the, uh, the finish here as well. Lots of cool stuff going on. This one will be a fun one to, to jam on. A lot of uh, what we've been doing with the Ricochets have been a lot of a different pickup, kind of more in the Jazzmaster Strat territory. So there's some cool stuff going on with these pickups. You should definitely check this one out if you're at the NAMM show. All right, guys. Next up is our Le Bois Semi-Hollow offering. Um, this one features a walnut body with a beautiful canary wood top on it. Um, it is actually a beach neck um, with rosewood fretboard and uh, this particular set of pickups is our anthem plus set um, just an excellent all-around 
guitar for just about anything you really want to throw at it. Um, and it came out really, really great. We have really taken a lot of pride in our newer hollow body offerings. So um, check this out at NAMM. It's going to be great. All right, next up in the NAMM lineup, we have, I guess you would call this maybe electric orange, kind of a hotter Fiesta, whatever you want to call this color. Electric orange Krosis, really cool, shiny. We've got our 9T set in there, the open top size T90s. All the Krosis have the flush mount pick guards, as you can see. Threaded inserts behind each of these. We didn't talk about that on the other video. Uh, these are all quick connect solderless pick guards, so you can pop this one out. You can plug in another pick guard. If you don't like the look of this, you can change that with humbucker pickups, strap pickups, etc. cetera. Uh, also a quarter sawn maple neck on here. This one has a, uh, a black logo on it. It's more of a decal type headstock, which is something a little different, and an Indian rosewood board on this one as well. What I like about this one is it's got just a nice little poppiness to it um, with our chamber route here. And it's got the, with the 90s, it's gonna really punch, it's gonna really bite, um, but never get really harsh. So this is also another cool guitar to play. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun options at the booth. So that's the next one in the lineup. Next up is our uh, Le Bois Contoured. Um, this one is Black Limba. And one of the cool things about it, other than, you know, the contours that we have going on with the belly cut and uh, the, the arm contour right there, um, this particular guitar, the neck and body, are actually made from the same piece of wood. So that's actually really cool to see uh, uh, something um, that basically has the parts that match each other DNA wise. So um, just a beautiful guitar. This one features our um, WRH set. So our humbucker size wide range uh, variant. And uh, it feels amazing. It's a super solid guitar. Uh, this one does have an ebony fretboard on it. Um, and it just really came out awesome. So definitely check this one out at NAMM. Uh, it's going to be a crowd pleaser for sure. All right, so that's a quick fire look at the NAMM guitars. Really uh, spent a lot of time on these guitars. So if you are coming by the booth, we do want to invite you to come meet us. Uh, Marco will be there. He just happens to not be here today. A couple other guys from our team will be there as well. We'd love to meet you. We're in Hall E, booth 2047 at the NAMM show. Can't wait to show you more of these guitars in person. We'll also have plenty of pickup stuff Absolutely. at the booth as well. Obviously, all the different types of pickups. One of the things we, we did talk about the pickups, we didn't really mention that we are trying to go with a really wide spread of pickups. So if you're coming to the show and you've never heard our pickups before, or if you're curious about them, you can check out all sorts of different models and types within these seven guitars. Uh, one guitar we don't have pictured here, uh, is, is we're looking forward to trying to get a Bigsby version of the Le Bois completed and designed. If you follow our guitars Instagram account, Porter Guitars, uh, you can, you've, you've seen a few teaser shots of, of, of our Plank dummy guitar. And uh, Mike, why don't you actually go grab that here? You might have to unhook your microphone. We'll show that to you here because we're looking at maybe, maybe having that one at the show. Uh, but we do have to do a couple new redesigns and some other stuff there. Yeah, yeah, you got it? I got Excellent. it. Excellent. All right, so here is where the Bigsby guitar stands right now. We've got a uh, nice Bigsby. We've got a cool little Schroeder bridge that we're going to put on there, and it'll, it'll accept our regular necks as well. Uh, we're still kind of just working out lengths and neck pocket depths, and we're actually going to have to take the, the bottom of the Le Bois down just a little bit to uh, fit on the Bigsby. So it actually will be a completely... I don't want to say new guitar, but it'll, right. it'll be special just to the set of hardware that's on it. So we're looking forward to doing that. This has actually been kind of fun to jam on this guitar a little bit. It sounds better than it looks. Yeah. <laughs> as is. <so. laughs> definitely. Definitely. So yeah, that'll, that'll be coming. So that's a little teaser for those who are, are going to be at the show and they want to check, uh, check out the Bigs V model. We do have to completely build the guitar and a neck and get figure out what finish we're doing and all sorts of stuff. So. We're going to do our very, very best to get it to the NAMM show, uh, but we do have less than a month now, I believe, or right, right about yeah. a month to get this thing done. So we, once this crate leaves, we're packing it up, 
uh, we're going to jump right back into this Bigsby guitar and do our best to get it there. Um, if we don't have it at the show, if something comes up, um, make sure to give us a really hard time for not, not having it at the show. Right. Because um, we want to we want to make it happen. We're going to do our best. To, but it is even just small, subtle changes. It does take new designs and, and all sorts of stuff. But this will open up a cool a couple cool options in the future as well. So if you're curious about this guitar, if you want to ask us any more questions about the Bigsby model, um, feel free to shoot us an email, uh, info at porterpickups.com. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching Porter TV, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.